Hello, and welcome back to the madness, which is me versus Don Ganropa Team. Yeah, we're not done with the prologue yet. We're still doing the prologue. So let's pick up where we last left off. And if you remember where we last left off, last time, remember? Where were you? We missed you. Well, I suppose we're supposed to go outside. Let me see where we're supposed to go to, because I have my walkthrough in hand.
And here we are at the ranch. Love hula. The Usami Corral. This looks like a ranch. Though there aren't many animals around. Are you so loud? You again? Seriously, why do you keep appearing? Where do you keep appearing from? I, I can show up anywhere, anytime. The system allows me to appear anywhere on this island. It's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick. Magic stick, huh? Did she talk about that toy she's holding? You know, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moose house is like a soccer team without any balls. You might want to rephrase that. Alrighty. Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Majin Boo. Majin Boo 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 Boo. What? What in the name of her form, Jim? What? I hear success. What? 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 Uh, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She's probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hodgebin. Trick? Illusion? Well, it, it, you think it actually makes sense. A chicken can't change into a cow and messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? I do believe we got a few weirdos abound. Couple birds. That's why I should call it right. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Show us the birds. Um. What's this kid doing? She's sitting down, she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Um, are you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime Hinata. Mm -hmm. I'm the other Sandy. Uh, a name I haven't heard from in a long time since. Uh. Kakume Sojo Utena. Ultimate traditional dancer, Yoko Tayonji. She has to stop pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually. Yoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly me. Probably because she looks so young. And probably all have the same interests. Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing. Squishing what? Yeah. Of course, I'm squishing a lot of Mr. Hands. Come again. <laughs> if you squish it, Tommy just try to make this awesome sound. Wanna do it together? Hell no! Yeah, okay. You want... Uh... 
did. Her answer doesn't match her appearance at all. I get a what? You know what? No, 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 no. Oh, how you doing, Tits? Yo! Hey! Who are you, Tits? Uh, how'd you mean my shit? Uh, how'd you mean you nothing? Know, gotcha, and who's the other, who's this other dude? Well, all intents and purposes, Bip and Blip. Have we already met? I don't think anybody has ever met you, so... <laughs> I'm sorry! I pretty much suck at remembering names. I bet you do. And I met so many interesting characters today. I'm Nagito Komeda. If you can, please don't forget my name again. Yo! The name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Nice to meet you too, Funbags. Nice to meet you too. The ultimate gymnast, Akane Owari. I Whoa. bet she is. Akane is known as the ultimate gymnast. And an all-round super athlete with tits like those. <clears throat> Rumor has it she's a wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts because we're tits. However, her basic and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are mostly improvised because we're tits. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches to that. That's so center, no matter how you cut it. She definitely sounds like a troublemaker because of her tits. Even though she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so performances must be amazing to see. So are her tits. <clears throat> I can't visualize her as a normal high school student because of her tits. <clears throat> I mean, she's got the physique of an Olympic athlete. Don't tell me you like the tits. Yes. Sexy. Oh, I see. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing that on purpose. I think that's the last of who we're going to see with this. Huh? Appearances can be deceiving. She seems like a dangerous kid. Next. Now my pet doing. Oh, she may stink. It's okay. You're fine, baby. You, yes, you, you, you is a good girl. She made a pool. So here's 
Central Island. Punchy Man. It looks like we can go through... It looks like we can go across this bridge. We can reach another island not far from here. Is it? Okay. That's what we're going there to find out, right? It's not safe when we get there. Then what will you do? Man here is walking with purpose. How far are we walking now? Mm. Facebook going off without a hitch. I see a bridge in the distance, but it looks like there's a great walk here. Hmm. Looks like there's another island on the, on the other side of the on the other side of the bridge. Folks, this is really something that you should never do in any other game in which you should really do. Looks like there's another island on the other side of the bride. I mean, bridge. It seems like we can't cross it. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Level up. I mean, there's nothing I'm really doing, just walking. Nothing more than just enjoying this music, this adventure island music. Ah, here we go. Jabberwock Park. Named after the Jabberwock. This is a park. Easy. A park surrounded by the ocean. <laughs> this is nice. Such a way back attitude. But if we were in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy stone baby myself. Yeah, me. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. You may have already noticed, but you have a level assigned to you. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. Your level increases by performing various actions such as walking, examining, and talking to others. Every time you level up, you will become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will 
also increase, so please try your eyes to level up often. Yuck, yeah, man, you let yourself go, didn't you? Yeah. Have time for a small introduction? <laughs> introduction. Come on, Hajime. Um, hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hajime Mashite. My name is Yakuya Togami. You sound like a douchebag! Yakuya Togami. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. I'm done. Get it right. There go. Uh, I can tell this guy is thumbing his nose at me. I suppose that's Byakuya for you. What do you mean? Actually, that guy is particularly special even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already begun managing the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent progeny. He's the epitome of exceptional. That's like a manga origin story. <laughs> you there, Hajime. Eh? Tell me, why did Hope Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, the thing is... I have to take a You don't remember? Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't re really remember much. I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand there? Move along! That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems. Let's just leave, Hajime. Yeah, sure thing. This building that overwhelming or refinement just pushes people away. This one means to be the ultimate of floor progeny. Yeah, it means you're a total dick. <laughs> Was that a school bell just now? Uh huh? Hajime, look at that monitor over there. Shining game at this point. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. I is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. I think you won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? Go to bitch. Yeah, bitch. Oh, shit. Well, okay, we just... 
Well, you know what? <laughs> Two can run! Good lord! <laughs> the fuck? That fast travel for you, goddamn. <laughs>
Boy, I got it. <laughs> I see. So that guy's figured it out as well. Hmm? You know, too, Dunga? What is it? If you wish to know, you must pay my price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of equivalent exchange. Dude, I know about Full Metal Alchemist, okay? Stay back. However, is something like if is someone like you capable of offering a tribute that would satisfy a tyrant such as myself? You probably don't even know what it is. So what is it, fat ass? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did you find out something about this one? Going to the park that's across the bridge. The park with the weird bronze statue of all the creepy animals, right? Listen, when I saw it, I remember a story I heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Yeah. That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could it be? Could this island be? Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Guys, there's a... There was a sign right there, y'all didn't see that. It said, in very, very skinny print, Jabberwock Island. Very strange. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold on! Hold it right there! That's a rather incomplete story, you two. No need to tell. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Eh, I don't care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island or whatever. It doesn't change the fact that we all gotta live here, right? <laughs> Living together at this tropical island here is exciting! I'm looking super forward to it! Right on! Ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like it. I like this island too. Can't see the same by the rest of the people. Hey, did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yes, if there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hulk's Creek Academy, right? So we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird! Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off. Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? <laughs> there's no way we can swim inside. Show some spirit. What he said. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you that's impossible! Then, what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? I won't let you! You can't do that! That's the biggest of no no's! Got it? Please recall the guidelines of this school trip? 
Let when you saw that owl had his coexist with his unexpected nature in mutual prosperity. Got it, I want everyone to get it on and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? There's no way danger to be much I wouldn't do something like that. Oh, Jimmy. I understand how you feel, but you need to call. Okay. As long as we don't do anything weird, it seems to hurt my danger. And as long as we gather the whole fragments, we'll be able to get out the silent scene. You're just gonna believe that. There's no other choice but to believe for now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Usami, what's this person you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Wow! Oh, that's right, Mom. Of course I did. Yes. Wow! This is it! Don't be upset, I prepared one for you all, so don't worry! What is this? It's an Osari trap! Did you scream for Kamiya Pop? Magical miracle going, Kamiya! I'm an angry girl who's free right now! That can be... That can be... posted in so many ways wrong. What a waste of time. Man, I got my whole cup too. I'm ashamed I even have my whole cup! You think so? Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. It's Usagi. Not Usami. Usagi. ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured after everybody received the strap, they just tossed them on the beach. You can't take nature with trash! See, you, you think they're trash! Lewis Sagan sadly picked up those straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. I have one more question to you. Oh, I don't want to give it to you, but yes. You have something else. Um, well, compared to the Usagi's trap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. Motive? Hey! That's why it's a motive for everyone to get real. We come all this way to a tropical island by stop if we face to do something. Island team. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of going to big party or something? Yay, yay. Correct! Wow. A festival. Or maybe a miniature shrine. How wonderful. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of poison, and I appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Wait! Knock it off, Teru Teru! Oh, oh your tender ones, you petcha! <laughs> Just ignore him, Sonya! I got it! If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something! <gasps> a campfire sounds fun too. Let's kill! Let's try to hoops so we can kill it! 
It's looking for one not enough for you. I see. Yes, but it's right the ocean first. Get up! This is what it's all about. Swimming back. Who that means? Get up! That's right, I have sources for everyone. Well, still sources actually. I hope that's all right. Are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? Guys, if you want to go swimming, there's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Never mind. Eh. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about with weather this nice. There's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my lines agree, see? Oh, Your pendulum is I understand. Wait. Seriously, don't try to understand. Hey, hey! I wanna have a good swim swimming the feet. All right, let's go change. Those of us who are excited to go swimming with it get their swimsuits from a pool stuck and ran straight to the hotel. Hey. Well, what are you going to do, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along, too. After you said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There is no danger on this island. There is nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? <laughs> ah, you too. You're not gonna swim, Bianca? Of course not. You're some weird emails. That's enough. However, don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons could be more different. Different reasons? <laughs> You can accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? COWARD! What? Duck. That Usagi thing is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you going to swim? I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to. So it looks like she's staying too. That's what I expect what she said. I'm like the more active type. Hey, you're not going to swim? Huh? Of course I am. Why? Then why did you go with the other change? Oh, annoying. I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. I know. What about your swimsuit? You. There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong. So let's have a swim. With those words, Akane quickly began taking off her. Whoa! Hey! I love her view. It is shameful behavior like that. You know, no. If you go and swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. Oh, annoying. What a pain. Don't talk. 
swimming flows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own business. Yeah, he's so blunt. Which everyone has returned. As Usagi said that, I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting for joy. Shouting. I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Yahoo! This is something I've seen on my Discord. Vibrant asses from the ladies. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. I bet they are. You seem a little too open, like you're covering too many bases by yourself. I would have to agree. <laughs> I'll make sure to flatter you with lots and lots of oil. Sure, you got enough. Oh dear. It feels like it's work. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this. But they're all acting like openness. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all oh, do our best to peacefully enjoy this high drama school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it in words. Am I really wrong about all of this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then, I'll do it! That's right, I'll do it! Huh? Aren't you made if something happen? Hey! Hand me one of those swimsuits! Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one wearing. You sound like an idiot. I don't care anymore, I'm gonna go for it! I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun! natural at all. Hmm? Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. <laughs> what is this? Huh? I did do anything. What is all this? There's no way something like this should be happening! And as had exact moment. Just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Motherfucker. Uh, uh, my check! My check! Oh god, it's you! Oh, for the love of fuck, it's you again. 
That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usagi. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. Surprise? You were totally surprised. Sounds like an 80s villain, doesn't it? Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. I swear, he sounds like a Smurf. Or a very early version of Lupin the Third. Welcome to Danganronpa, 
What is going on? What is this? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monaco is here. But as long as I have this magic stick. Did I just see some... I saw some panties? What the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? Um... Um, how many panties and, and on a carrier are in there, man? I want to know. What the f- no, no, no. Oh dear, what are you gonna do with that stick? Looking. 
weird looking. She matches me now, you know. I'm insensitive. There's more of them! What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm not a kuma! I hate how that is bad as I sound, but are there stuffed animal paired? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? See, see, I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm not a kuma! The headmaster of hosting academy! Did you say Headmaster? Anyway, regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the Headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> Some may point out when the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip. <laughs> Trip where everyone gets along and has no stimulation at all, and it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey! You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So, let's begin our cheating school trip. Do your thing. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely possibly not allow the study of it. Oh, it hurts a lot when you kick me, too. Monami, such a dumb child. He's your bitch, and a tiny monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time, except in manga. A little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Damn, dude. Just laying down the logic, won't you? Now that we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. Where are we? The killing school trip. Monomy, what are you saying? Isn't it obvious you guys are going to kill each other? No. Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? No way, no way, no way. Who are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't be the island unless you all get going? Try changing the rules. If you walk off this island, then please kill one of your friends! And then, make it through the class... And then, make it through the class trial without getting caught! Class trial? That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this kidding school trip! Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the end of at the class trial, there will be a showdown between the black and killer and the other spotless student. During the trial, you will present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the black and killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly. Then the one who got away will murder with Then the one who got away with murder will survive and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial goes, that's all there is. In other words, which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave the time. However, if you're found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but super rewrite. What the heck? You keep repeating that word punished over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. Oh, execution? Hmm. A freezing punishment that follows the class trial. 
Like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning, to shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, jabbing, ex- electrocution, crushing, cutting. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, guys. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. This is an all you can murder per se. A deep part of murder. That's what this killing. Trip it about! Yeah. I my chest without really. It's beating my heart. It's sharp, stabbing pain forced through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Don't fuck with me. Who on earth would kill someone? No way! I'm not ordering you. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful, you doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait until you're in your forties to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? Well, what if nobody ever gets murdered and just that means we'll never leave the island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait a minute, why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious there's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Hold on! You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I don't want to get found, but if I do, I have n- no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try to kill? I'll push the top to it. With force, if necessary. You are you! If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience! Fine. Oh, that's so well, I guess I expected the action. Yeah. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have some fun to start with any of the force of my own. Please! The force of my own, what do you do? Serge, oh God, to dwell between the light and darkness in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, Mama Beast! Um, they're not going to change it to Dan Cougar, are they? I say not a strange and surprising thing since I first arrived at the dawn. But still, the phenomenon taking place in front of me was blatantly out of this world. I'm just going to say this. That looks pretty cool. It just reminds me of Dan Kuga. That is that is a straight nod to Dan Kuga. Why this is that you move? That's no statue, that mono me. No, I just said they're monopies. The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when you the strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, you almost won't let you trust it. 
I of course accept that. Some appearance of like a monster might be normal in anime and video games. Oh, they're totally normal, especially Super Robot Kaiser. Totally legit. That's the way I can grasp your out of the situation. I couldn't even feel the fear. All I could do was stand a cat. This can't be this is too weird! Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? You guys sure are skeptical, but if something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just allow it outright. How stupid! It's the cavemen are better than you all! I don't like that! Classifying events according to their genre the disease of the modern age. Everyone! Please stay back! I will protect everyone! I you're at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Oh, let's see. One moment. For the first time in a long time, while he was getting sick, I took a shit. No, this is nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Let's go! It's punishment time! Alrighty then, it's decided you'll be my example to everyone! Um... Shit. You don't like that. Is that a demon or perhaps a weapon from the future? None of these are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. You know, a life threatening monster appeared. Not a single one of us tried to run away. Not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We're just vastly out of our element. Not me, I'm into Mecca. We had never expected anything like this before. And had no idea how to deal with it. I'm just waiting for them to form into Dan Kuga and so I can say Dan Ku Koka Ken. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <laughs> That's right, this is what I wanted! The spinning of the star giving an example is totally the right call! I'm like a super clean laughing monotone when we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now, now that I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. 
ourselves and admit that we also have that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that killing may never occur, but even I'm no different, so can I truly 
So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day like any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun and this tropical island was the stage. So, welcome to Super Danganronpa 2. Or Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Now, you want, you want to know what's so funny about this? The opening is real fucked up. But yet, in, in, in this, right after the prologue, works just fine. Prologue complete. Sixteen surviving students. To be continued. Faux show! Broken wall. Faux show. That's a broken wall. I would like to save, and of course, I am definitely going to stop here. And in the next part, we shall start up Act 1. But first, Rule 5. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. Rule 6. If the black is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Rule 7. If the black is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. Rule 8. As a reward, the surviving black will be forgiven of their crime and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. <laughs> Destroy any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This concludes the surveillance cameras and monitoring. Rule 11. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this guide are not limited. Rule 12. Last rule. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. So therefore, in our next episode, we're actually starting up Chapter 1. In the Dead of Night. Oh... 
I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 baby, no, 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 no. Proof that you cleared the prologue. Usami had this match stick, but seriously broken for show. That's why it's called for show magic. Uh, uh, for show broken one. So again, stopping here, and in the next part, we're actually going to start off chapter one proper. So stay tuned, more of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye despair, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.